hello guys how are you all hope you're doing good i'm back with another concept in pega which is elastic search um, pega has given uh, uh, out of the box capability to create elastic indexes and use them for searching uh, any data in a data table so i'll show you uh, the exact step that needs to be performed um, so firstly uh, this is the report definition um, on the data access tab this, this is the option uh, you know that Pega has given from I think from 8.x onwards. Uh, I'm not sure if it was available in 7.4, uh, but I started seeing it from 8.x version onwards. So this is the uh, radio button that you select for uh, uh, indexing Elastic uh, files. Um, so first and foremost, um, to uh, have uh, the Elastic search indexes created you need to uh, make sure some of the DSS are enabled. Um, so let me show you quickly what those DSS are. Yeah, so first and foremost, data enabled is should be true. Indexing data enabled should be true. Uh, indexing enabled should be true. Distributed indexing enabled should be true distributed enable true yeah so these are the uh, few data uh, sorry few dss settings that you need to make it true uh, to have the data uh, indexing uh, on um, and next step you have uh, a data class you need to have a data class uh, you know where i have created a sample data class for just for demo purposes um, and had some data imported into it so you create a data type for it and uh, just uh, with i created just uh, with the two columns so f uh, fl name and nuid some id um, so and i had some data imported uh, just an id and some some data random data um, so after that you need to go to sysadmin and custom search properties so you need to create a, a dedicated index for it uh, basically so for that you need to go to custom search properties and um, so this is the dedicated index that i have created uh, for the data class whatever uh, i just showed you uh, data hyphen ofd uh, so you need to have these two checkboxes uh, checked um, and um, you don't need to have like the properties added here explicitly uh, but if you want to like have only specific properties uh, um, to be indexed then just add those properties here um, and you have all uh, these two checkboxes checked um, so that um, you know it will create a dedicated it will give you an option to uh, create a dedicated index so let me show you maybe uh, okay let me delete this yeah okay create so just to show you i'm selecting a sample data class snd create and open yeah so this is how you see it uh, very first time so as i said like you can add properties to make them to available in full text search but um, it's not mandatory you can leave it as it is as well uh, so that it will just enable indexing on all the properties so check this checkbox use dedicated index click save it will give you a, a button to create dedicated index so click on it um, okay refresh so maybe actions refresh create dedicated index not sure like what is oh, okay uh, so just go to settings and this is the next step that you need to perform um, so here actually i already uh, had a dedicated index created so let me delete it um, okay actions refresh so create dedicated index yeah so it will create a dedicated index and once it is created the next step is is to go to the search tab and go to dedicated tab again and click refresh yeah you see data snd is created with incomplete state so you need to re-index it uh, this is a mandatory step again uh, re-index 
uh, and when you reindex, uh, be careful. Uh, you should not uh, do reindex for all the classes. It will, uh, you know, take the long time. Take take long time, and uh, also it will uh, reindex uh, necessarily all the data classes available uh, with with all the data in the system uh, in in your database. So be careful. Uh, just select only uh, listed below and select your uh, data class for which you you just created custom search property, a dedicated index. Click OK. Uh, it will initiate uh, indexing, re-indexing in the background. Uh, so you can wait for like 10 or 15 seconds and click refresh. Um, so just to like to not to prolong uh, this video, uh, I'm going to use my ex uh, you know a previous class where I have re-indexed. And uh, once I did re-indexing, uh, I should see uh, you know. Uh, the status available in green and also these numbers uh, should be reflected properly. So what happened when I did it uh, the numbers reflected properly, but uh, it showed uh, The status incomplete. So for that I had to restart the server once and after that it started showing uh, available status in green um, and uh, the numbers also reflected properly. So with this um, we have like created uh, a dedicated index and also re-indexed uh, with all of the data for all of the data that is present in the table and another thing is you need to make sure uh, Before even re-indexing you need to make sure uh, the, these queues are up and running You know if you go to admin studio queues list and you, you should see that these two queue processors uh, should be on a up should be up and running uh, properly otherwise, you know the re-indexing will not happen properly so That is it and another thing um if you want to like distribute these indexes on multiple nodes um you can add multiple nodes so that uh, it will maintain the indexes on multiple nodes you know, as a master child uh, copies so for now i'm just using only single node when i did it sorry when i when i do it on uh, multiple nodes I, I'll, I'll probably show you um, or make another video um, and another important thing is make sure uh, this will be by default uh, checked, but um, for specific specified properties, you need to check it down. Uh, otherwise, again, uh, the elastic search, uh, you know, it will not work. So just have this checkbox checked, uh, if not checked. So yeah, this is this is the thing. Um, you know, these are the things that you need to take care in uh, search tab. Um, after that, go to report definition. Um, so, but I mean, with this, like. Uh, until now like we took care of the dedicated index and also uh, re-indexing is done uh, uh, the steps are completed successfully now the report definition you have this checkbox checked and also configure what are all the properties that you want to query uh, and also um, you can maybe even um, add some filters like uh, fl name is equal or maybe contains ts t right just for testing so run it uh, let me enable the tracer i'll show you exactly how it generates query yeah it gave one result py report content page open this yeah px se query post so this is the sc is nothing but um, sorry es es query post es is nothing but elastic search query elastic search query so normally uh, in the case of normal database uh, search you see a uh, sql query uh, generated here um, but because we enabled elastic search on report definition uh, it has uh, generated uh, elastic search query and this is how it looks like so this is the query string, query FL name. Um, yeah, these are the this is the filter that we added, um, and also these are the store f uh, overall fields, a new ID and FL name, whatever we added in the report definition, uh, the select uh, query. So these are the uh, sorry, this is the query that got generated. So with this, uh, we could understand that. Um, report definition has generated or uh, report definition has used elastic uh, indexes to query the data uh, uh, in the table whatever is like uh, just showed um, 
OFD table. Yeah, OFD. So this is it, guys. Overall, um, so we can use Elastic indexing um, or Elastic search uh, to search any data, any data table, uh, wherever uh, there's a large amount of data. Uh, 